So night one is down. How are you feeling this morning, Guy? I'm feeling good, feeling great. We had a fantastic show last night, a very, very busy show. Lots of antics, lots of crazy stuff inside, lots of serious stories as well. And um, there's always a great sense of satisfaction when you come off the stage on Monday night and then you realise, hang on a second, we have to do it all again tomorrow night. So we're on again tonight and really looking forward to it as well. We've, I suppose, the back broken in one sense because we met 18 roses last night. We've only 14 to meet this evening. And obviously you kind of had a, a great, great bit of fun with the Arizona Rose and you actually went and did a tattoo for her. Were you nervous? I, I, was, I was nervous in all fairness. I only did a very, very small bit of it. But still, uh, yeah, it was on her bucket list. And uh, do you know what, Kayla? She was, she's just that type of person. She's up for anything, up for a bit of crack. And she got the tattoo live, I suppose, while the news was on. And uh, it, was, it's, it was great fun, great fun. And tonight, is there anything that we can expect from the show? Yeah, we've, um, do you know what, this year we, we, we've only one dancer, because we always have a good few dancers, and it's a salsa dance tonight, so we don't even have any Irish dancing. So that's kind of strange, I suppose, in Rosa Tree terms, we have some more fantastic singers. Uh, again, there's plenty of madness in there as well, I'm involved in a few more party pieces, as I tend to be, but again, listen, it's, it's, it's all a bit of fun. I was golfing and I was playing hockey last night, and I was doing every other thing as well. And obviously it's 10 years for you and 60 years for the Rose. Like, what's been a highlight for you over the last decade? I think the highlights kind of come in a package deal as the Roses themselves and the fact that you can come back here every year and do the same thing, the same formula, kind of just chats on stage and you have party pieces, but they're all very, very different. They all come with their individual stories and their individual personalities and they're, that, they're one set of highlights for me. I also like the kind of crazy party pieces thing as well. I think it really adds to the show. It brings out a different side of the roses as well. So you, if you, there are a good few things that I like about the whole thing. And have you picked a winner yet? I'm not. <laughs> to be honest, I, all I was, last night all I was concerned about was, were the 18 roses. I have 14 tonight. And once they all go on stage, stay on stage happy and come off stage and they're happy. That's my job done. There is a winner at the end, but even at this stage now, and it's probably around almost nine o'clock in the morning, and the winner will be announced at quarter past eleven tonight. Still, there's no sense of competition, and it's only when you call the winner out that you say, "Okay, oh, that, this was a kind of a competition." So you don't really feel the competition aspect of it.